Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to introduce you to pile foundations, as well as the classification of pile foundations. Pile foundations are deep foundations which transmits the loads of superstructures through relatively weak or loose strata deep into the ground to stronger underlying soil or rock. Piles support the applied load by end bearing, adhesion, or friction developed along the shaft of the pile. Piles generally extend to a depth greater than 3 meters below the surface. And a pile can be installed by driving, screwing, jacking, vibrating, drilling, or other methods. A number of piles may be installed in close proximity to each other, usually having a common cap to form a pile group. And you can see that in this diagram here. Piles are generally classified based on the method of installation and pile materials. In displacement piles or driven piles, the installation of these piles cause relatively large horizontal displacements and movements of the ground through which the piles are being installed. Installation may be through hammering, pushing, jacking, vibrating, screwing, etc. Non-displacement piles are formed in situ by removing soil to form a void in the ground, which is then filled with concrete or grout. The soil may be removed by rotary drilling, mechanical excavation or other methods. These methods induce only small ground movement. Piles can also be classified based on load transfer mechanism. End bearing piles transmit their forces to the ground through the reactions developed mainly at their base. The shaft of the piles has little contribution to their resistance and hence we ignore shaft resistance in the design of end bearing piles. Floating piles transmit their force to the ground through the, rea the reactions developed along their shaft and as well as the base. In the design of floating piles, we must consider both the shaft resistance and bearing resistance. Here you can see diagrams showing what end bearing piles and floating piles look like. And that's it for today's video. Hope this helps guys.